why a Windows user should switch to the Mac and in this case to this MacBook. Let's find that out in this video. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're going to talk about macOS and in particular, MacBook. So why a Windows user should switch to a MacBook? And I'm talking specifically MacBook because I've been using it since like two or more years, almost three years. I found myself very, very good using it. And in fact, in the end, I switched my ecosystem towards macOS. So in my case, I'm using the MacBook Pro and, and I have the 14 inches model with the M1 Pro chipset. As I said, I have it for like uh, two years now. And before this, I had the standard M1, that one with the touch bar. And I have to be honest because since I've used the first MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, I just fell in love with these machines. And here I will tell you why you should consider to switch to the MacBook in particular. So first of all, I've used a lot of Windows laptop and I always found myself having a problem with those laptop. And the problem was the battery life because although the performance maybe were good enough while they were plugged in, we couldn't say the same while they were on battery. And so the battery life also was very, very poor. When I started to use the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, I found myself very, very good because the battery life was amazing at the time, especially compared to the Windows side of laptops. And that thing alone made me just think to switch totally to Mac OS and specifically to MacBook. Then second reason, it is the build quality. Really, this MacBook has really, really the best build quality that you can find in a laptop. I've tried also the Surface laptops that are very, very good and sturdy, but the MacBooks are really, really way ahead in my opinion, because the unibody chassis and the keys and the screen, they are really, really perfect. And it is a little bit heavy, yes, because of different factors, but you can really feel the exceptional quality of the MacBook. Then you have a really good port selection especially if you do a creative job like mine. So doing videos, editing videos, working on YouTube. So you have two USB-C on the side, plus the MagSafe and of, of course the headphone jack. And on the other side, you have a full HDMI port and another USB-C port. And of course you have also the SD card slot that is very, very useful if you are creating videos as I'm doing right now. But this was just a minor thing because the other great thing about this MacBook, in my opinion, it is the trackpad because you have a lot of space for the trackpad. And really, if you haven't tried already the MacBook trackpad, it is one of the best. I think it's the best trackpad that you can find on a laptop. Really, I've tried a lot of laptops. The Surface one from Microsoft is not that bad, but the MacBook haptic touchpad it is really, really my favorite one, and it is the best one that you can find on the market. Along with that, it comes with really two powerful speakers on the side, and they are on the top of the laptop, so the sound comes just right towards you, and you can hear very, very good anything you are watching. If you are watching ser TV series, if you are watching a YouTube video, you can hear very, very well everything because they are just well tuned and they have the right amount of bass of mid. The display, as you can see, it's very, very bright. One of the brightest at the time. Right now you have like better option, I think, on the market, but I'm still very, very good with this one. I think this is like 500 nits and I think a thousand in HDR mode, but I never use HDR mode because I hate it. I think it's still bright enough. And also it has a very, very good resolution because it's almost 4K. It does have the right amount of pixel for the screen size. So it does have a really good amount of density, of pixel density. Another feature on the Mac, it is the spotlight search that I think it's one of the most useful tool that you can find on macOS. And the search on Windows, it is good, yes, but it is not that powerful as the Spotlight search. So with this Spotlight search, you can do pretty much anything on your MacBook. You can search for anything, you can open anything, you can ask anything to the Spotlight search. It is really, really the best thing that you can find on macOS, in my opinion, because I use it really every day, multiple times a day. Last thing that I can say, 
it is of course the Apple ecosystem because if you have an iPhone, if you have a MacBook, if you have AirPods, if you have the Apple Watch or maybe an iPad and everything, they are working very, very good and really they are working seamlessly. You cannot give a point to Apple in this way because the ecosystem is really, really communicating very well. So if you take, for example, a note on your MacBook, then you will find it also on your iPhone and vice versa. Or maybe if you ask Siri to set a reminder on your Apple Watch, you will find it, of course, on both MacBook, iPhone and iPad, whatever. You have AirDrop that is very, very useful. You can answer your phone call through your MacBook or maybe if you have an iPad, you can answer on all devices. Plus, if you have a MacBook and an iPhone, you can connect your MacBook to your iPhone as an hotspot whenever you want. It will do it automatically if anytime you need a personal hotspot. Very convenient, especially if you are traveling a lot. I use it every time I travel because it is very useful and very, very secure. All good stuff, right? So this laptop is pretty much perfect, right? Well, actually, no, because of course, if you are using Windows, there are still a lot of good reasons to stay with Windows. And one of that, it is the most immediate one that you can find if you are switching from Windows to Mac. And it is the Windows management, because on Windows, you can do pretty much anything, especially with Windows 11. You can do anything with Windows. You can arrange your Windows however you want without any problem. But on the Mac, you can do like small adjustment and it is a a very very slow thing to do so most of the time you don't use windows arrangement or maybe you are forced to use third-party tool of course windows it is also more customizable in my opinion with mac and the newest mac os you can customize your system a bit you can edit something here and there but not as you do on windows you can pretty much work on anything you can do it you can build your interface on windows however you want and on mac os you are pretty much limited in this way. The biggest point for pretty much most of the people, it is the compatibility with some software, with some application. So some people are still using Windows as their main machine because maybe a specific software, it is optimized only for Windows. And macOS is developing very fast along with the newest Apple chipset. They are developing very fast and they are getting better and better and supporting more software like natively but still there are some software that are just compatible or more optimized for windows so if you are one of that of course you need to use windows and lastly for me and maybe for other people there is the fact that you can't play games on mac os i mean you still can and you still can play some games but it is not like having a windows pc especially maybe a gaming a gaming PC, so a computer that have a lot of power. On macOS, it is different. Still, they are doing progress on this aspect because they are releasing also some native games on macOS, but it is not, of course, at the level of Windows. So because I am a gamer, I still have my desktop PC that have Windows because it is a gaming PC. And if I want to play some games, I need to switch to my Windows computer. But in the future, who knows if macOS will still do some progress in this gaming aspect and we will see how it goes. In the meantime, if you want, let me know down below in the comments because I've been playing a lot of games on my MacBook. If you want, I can show you a video where I can play some of these games because some of that are just very, very interesting games and you will not expect what games can run on this MacBook right here. So let me know down below in the comments if you want to see a gaming video on my MacBook. I will be happy to record it for you. In any other case, I think that was pretty much it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you are a Mac user or a Windows user. This video was made not for flaming anyone or to start a battle in the comments between Windows user and Mac user. It is just my experience with Mac OS and specifically with MacBook. So what do you think about that? Anyway, that was pretty much it. Leave a like down below if you liked the video and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Just click the red button. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.